Hello, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today we are going to be doing another tutorial video here in Stormworks. Now this tutorial is going to be about how to make a jet engine here in Stormworks. So first you'll need a... So first you'll need a small jet intake, a jet compressor, a jet combustion chamber, a jet turbine, medium or small, a jet exhaust, ba uh, any jet exhaust actually, a electric battery, a throttle lever, a push button, and a toggle button if you are using the afterburner thrust thing here. Um, anyways, now, uh, so here, let's first off, you'll need a, uh, air intake, and I completely forgot there is a air, a, um, a large jet intake here as well, uh, so if you do want a large jet intake, you can use that. Anyways, um, turn on symmetry mode here, because I'm going to be doing two examples with the engines. Uh, now you want to put your air intake in the front, then simply place your combustion chamber. Now this will take the air and compress it, I mean not combustion chamber, um, co uh, jet compressor. Now once you have that, you then want to get your jet um, combustion chamber, which this you'll notice here, has a fuel intake. Um, this is to burn fuel. Now, you also want a jet turbine. Now, here's the difference. So, as you'll notice, on the medium jet turbine, there is a power output. Now, you can uh, attach something with like a clutch and then it will power that thing so here I will go ahead and grab a clutch and then grab a propeller here just for the example of this tutorial now you can use anything you want you can use wheels you can use propellers you can use like ro uh, rotor blades you can use anything. Um, now, let's keep going here. So, put on combustion chamber, I mean turbine, small one on this side, and then after that you'll just need your exhaust of your choice. Uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, I am going to be using a, uh, both of them. So, afterburner, and a regular one. Now, as you will see here, there is uh, a fuel intake on the afterburner, so just keep that in mind. You will need to be feeding the afterburner one fuel if you want to actually use the afterburner. Now, if you are not satisfied with the size of your engine, there is also uh, jet ducts. Duck. Duct. Um. So you can just use these, attach to these anywhere in your engine, and it will, it can extend it, rotate it, and etc. So for the purpose of this tutorial, so my base does not go flying off, I'm going to get a rotating, or not rotating one, a um, duct here. There's also the jet exhaust rotating one, so you can now... Uh, go ahead and place this down just like that and now this will actually go ahead and rotate once you give it a value as you can see here uh, put this on data as you can see here there's a thrust spoiler as well and then a rotation target uh, now you can just simply put this onto a seat or something um, yeah anyways to get on with this tutorial, you'll need to give your thing fuel, obviously. So just 
do that and keep in mind make sure to put this onto jet fuel and also with the new update you can now name these whatever you want uh, and keep in mind if you are using a fluid spawner here uh, don't forget to put it on jet fuel as well uh, anyways now just connect these to your um, engines here to your combustion chamber and then once you've done that uh, you're pretty much your engine setup is pretty much good to go uh, so yeah unless if you have one of these you will need to put fuel in uh, one of these here so yeah just keep that in mind um, anyways you'll for the actual setup you'll need electricity so I'm just gonna use a battery here uh, you'll need a throttle lever two actually if you uh, really if you have uh, if you want to use like the, the cut off I think that's what it's called I'm not sure and then a push button and a toggle button if you have the um, afterburner here so this is my toggle button so let's just name this after burner and then just name this com, com for compressor and same goes for here uh, after I'm just gonna name it after and then compressor uh, let's do cutoff Actually, I am not sure if that is what this is here. Um, for spoiler, the airflow in the spoiler reduced if I remember. Okay, yeah. So essentially, this just reduces uh your thrust, your thrust. Um, and if you do uh have a um. A medium one you can add a clutch onto that so I'm obviously going to add a clutch since I do have one and then just name this prop clutch prop clutch okay now here you want to I'm going to add my propeller clutch to my clutch pressure my throttle to my jet combustion chamber and then my cutoff to my thrust uh, spoiler thing here that just reduces the airflow and same on this side so to oh let's just say this one's the cutoff um and this one's throttle now Compressor goes to the compressor on and off, and then afterburner goes to the afterburner if you have one. Uh, so, yeah. Now I'm just going to hook up my electricity real quick. Okay. Now I now that I have all my electricity connected up, uh, here. So I'm gonna start off with this one. Turn on your compressor. Give it a little bit of throttle. I forgot that. It should theoretically go and start up. Give this one a little bit of throttle. I can't remember which one's which. So, yep. Now both of these are ignited, as you can see, except for this one. I'm just going to start these all up. Okay, now that you can see, they are all started up here. 
you can now uh, disengage the clutch, and the that will now start spinning the um, propeller. And now it's just a disaster. So yeah, that's how you make use a jet engine here in Stormworks. I hope you guys enjoyed and found this video helpful. And see you guys in the next video.